I built up walls like mansions to the sky Protect my heart so it would survive But you climbed in like no one else could do The day I knew I needed you I was drifting out safe from any shore Welcome back to the channel. Here I am. At, I'm at the airfield. I'm at the airfield today. It's Monday and I just came out to do some work but I thought hey the weather's actually so good I might do some flying. So I got the DLG out and gave that a few hiffs. Threw it around a bit you know I've um, got my throwing arm in action and I've had a bit of fun. No lift around unfortunately. There's uh, at this time of the day it's actually well after midday the lift seems to die about one o'clock in the afternoon you know lift i should have come out in the morning but it was a bit windy this morning anyway yeah i didn't intend to make this video so i haven't got a mic on or anything hope the audio is okay but just a bit of an update as to things that are happening now i'm out here today because i've got a couple of projects i'm working on some helical antennas for digital goggles which hopefully will give you more range and better penetration virtually no cost you can build them yourself just like i did for for analog systems um, also i am doing some extra footage for my review of the Atom RC Swordfish. That's a very interesting <laughs> situation. Um, reviewers curse. You'll, you'll find out about it on RC Model Reviews, but I have had a collision of reviewers curses. Um, everyone else that got the Atom RC Swordfish has praised it and said it's wonderful and you just plug in your battery and fly and fantastic. I didn't have quite that experience, I have to admit. Now, was that me? Was that the Atom Swordfish or was it something else? Well, you'll have to watch the review to find out. Um, also the Boxer, the uh, Radio Master Boxer. Now I'm a great um, Radio Master fanboy, but the Boxer is a radio I can't use. I can't use it, honestly. Um, that's one of the reasons I had so much trouble with the Swordfish was because I was using the Boxer and I'll go into all the details in those reviews. But suffice to say the Boxer is a fantastic radio. I love everything about it except one thing that makes it a deal breaker for me. I may be able to get around it but for me it's a deal breaker. I cannot fly with that radio but you will probably find that radio fantastic. You'll have to watch the review to find out all the details of course on RC Model Reviews. If you're not subscribed, go and subscribe now. Um, what else did we have? Um, oh, we had uh, a beautifully fine weekend, a lovely two days of lovely weather and I didn't fly because, well I flew the swordfish a little bit but trying to get some some issues sorted with that but I couldn't in, have a nice day flying because we had model jets flying here, they'd booked the airfield for the weekend so our our people just sat on the sideline and watched. It's been a bit of a shame actually because the previous fine weekend uh, we had drag racing and we couldn't fly then so it seems like all the good weekends other people have booked the airfield and then we get the crappy rainy ones. That's just life I suppose, you have to live with it. It's another reason why I'm looking at trying to lease some land to set up a model flying area here. I want to I move away from the airfield, there's, a, there's other activities here and, and when you have so few windows of good weather it's a real annoyance to find that on the one fine weekend in two months someone else is using the airfield. So I would like to lease a piece of land, set, mow a runway, set up perhaps a little container with some solar panels so we can charge batteries, that sort of thing, and have a, a, a flying area without the added overhead of flying at an airfield where we have to have um, you know, all sorts of extra rules and spotters and stuff. You, know, you, you can't come out here and fly on your own. That's, uh, that's it. Um, I flew my DLG before, but of course I wasn't alone. I had Arnie, didn't I? I'm spotting for XJ. I had Arnie with me, so that was okay. He was spotting for me. And I mean, let's face it, a 70 year old man with a 200 gram DLG could cause an enormous amount of issues. So I had to have Arnie to make sure that uh, I wasn't going to get mown down by a, a passing Cessna 172. But we take care of safety. Anyway, moving on from that. So yeah, I'd like to make a uh, a, a flying field somewhere away from this airfield um, and we get away from the problem of flying within four kilometres of a listed airfield in New Zealand, there's all sorts of extra rules and regulations, we could be free to have a lot more um, liberty as to when and how we fly. Hopefully that'll happen but I don't know. Anyway, so I couldn't fly last weekend because of the the model jets flying and but we did get a visitor from Australia, a regular, Anthony. Anthony's a regular from Australia, he pops over every year or two and he came this year as well. Just unfortunate he came on the weekend when the jets were flying, um, although the weather wasn't too bad. But windy, but windy when Anthony got here and so he brought an aircraft with him 
and he flew it and he has a reputation for turning them into kits and he didn't disappoint us but the aircraft was very interesting a fantastic design I, I wish I had designed it it's a really brilliant design made a foam board I'll show you some footage of that at the end of this video you can watch that and, and applaud Anthony for it's getting windy again now applaud Anthony for his courage and his dedication <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, pretty much that's it. On, on the subject of Pushback 2023, if you go to my community tab on this channel, you'll see I fired off another query to the FAA through their web form because that gives you a tracking number. You can track the progress of that query. So I've asked them the same thing I asked them in an email previously. But with an email, you don't know what's happening. And they have had over a week and they simply haven't responded. So I presume I'm never going to get a response to my email. However, by putting it on the community tab and having a tracking number, the world can watch. The world can watch and see what they're doing to answer that query and if they don't answer it somebody should get their tea and biscuit privileges taken away because they're paid to answer these queries and we'll see what they say and it's all important it's about standard remote ID and models that are on the market at the moment and which ones should have standard remote ID and if they should and they don't what is the FAA going to do about it are they going to bother enforcing this ridiculous standard remote ID rule it doesn't really look like it at this stage uh, I think that's all I've got to say today. I wasn't making a video, but I have. How about that? <laughs> so thank you for watching, and thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thank you to my channel members. You're all heroes in this battle to protect and promote the hobby. Now, I'd also put up a community tab uh, post up asking people to let me know if they have some footage I can use, because I'm going to do some, some public awareness videos to let the public know some things that they don't know. For example, most of the public don't know that model aircraft are considered to be drones. By the regulator. They think drones are just multi-rotors. They've got no idea that our little 250 gram RC model of a Piper Cub is also a drone. We're going to educate them. We're going to fill them in that drone rules should apply to drones perhaps, especially commercial drones, because I see one fell on a canoe in a regatta in the UK. Um, and you know, big heavy commercial industrial drones, yeah they need to be regulated because they do pose a threat to life, a definite threat to life. But when it comes to our toys not so much anyway educate the public get them on our side that's the only way we're going to get change only way we're going to push back effectively against these ridiculous regulations thanks for watching guys thanks for the support i'll get on and do something useful now <laughs> see you later what are you complaining about bill it's slowing that down a bit too quick oh <laughs> <laughs> we've got a special guest star today anthony from australia you're becoming a regular anthony hi mum I mean, I don't think coming. <laughs> you're not becoming I like irregular. That. <laughs> hey, becoming irregular. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's come all the way from Australia to come and see the tower, haven't you? So they wouldn't let me in the country in March. I no. Come over for a wedding. Oh, and they yeah. said I wouldn't. I wasn't allowed in because I wasn't. His other name is, is Typhoid Anthony. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. kids or my kids, my wife will let in, but I wasn't. No, well, that's understandable. Though. Look at you. <laughs> yep. I thought it'd fly further than that. Beautiful. Oh, that was lovely. Have you landed yet? A bit windy, I think. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I couldn't have landed better myself, man. <laughs> Taxi it back. Overregulation is like a tumor. It's killing a hobby. It must be terminated. Now.